so in this video we are going to see how to create virtual machine from snapshots so i'm going to click on the snapshot or if it is not appearing there you can just click in the search box and type snapshots you will get snapshots in this list click on it and then click on the snapshot from which you want to create a virtual machine to create a virtual machine let's go ahead and check step by step first of all we need to create a disk so to create a disk click on create disk we need to give the disk name suppose i am going to give like vm2 hyphen os disk now you need to pay attention over here so in availability zone i don't want any availability zone for this vm so i'm going to click on no infrastructure redundancy required source type it is saying snapshot source subscription it is saying hub source snapshot it is saying the snapshot name and os type is windows from here we can change the size as well but i don't want to change it i'm going to click on encryption then encryption type you can change here i am going to keep it as is then networking i will select this option disable public and private access and then click on advance in the advance settings i am going to keep all the settings as is and then next tags so i will give and press review plus create so validation is passed and then i am going to click on create the creation process is in progress and you will see notification over here in this notification the deployment is complete now go to source once we are on the source you will see the option that is create vm click on create vm so let's give the vm name as vm2 availability zone i again don't want availability zone image so this vm is going to use vm2 hyphen os disk image so it is by default selected now size you can change the size but i don't want to change it currently i will keep this size only it is just for a testing purpose so i am going to keep it as is select inbound port rdp i'll keep it as it as is and then the license type it was windows server 2016 so i will select windows server licensing review plus create so this is actually nice uh, the costing is already given on the right side so that you can decide which virtual machine you can select and then the validation is already passed i'm going to click on create so you can see the progress in the notifications click on notifications icon now vm creation is in progress by using the desk which we created from the snapshot so currently you can see deployment is in progress vm2 then vm2 network card public ip address network security group all these components are being created in the back end so deployment is complete and you can just go to this resource uh, vm2 virtual machine agent status is not ready because currently it is still in the deployment phase so it will take some time and this warning will be will disappear after some time so i hope this video was helpful if you like this video please hit the like button hit the subscribe and press the bell icon to enable notifications for future videos thanks and bye bye